Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you the tree map chart. So tree map chart is also an interesting chart which is generally used at the middle of the dashboard to show the impact of the various different categories. So let's say if you are creating the product specific chart and you have the requirement that based on the various products that you have you want to show their contribution. Also you want to enable the user that uh, not with the filter but by just choosing it over here from the chart itself the rest of the other chart should be uh, changed. So this gives you uh, two benefit. One is that uh, instead of pie chart you use tree map. So whenever you have lot of categories like in this case which is more than 10 categories right now the tree map chart is a better choice as compared to the pie chart which shows you the contribution. So here contribution is shown as you can see with the help of the boxes over here. So this indicate that office machine has the highest sales. Uh, and the color is dark uh, brown so it is 2.1 million compared to the table sale which is 1.8 million followed by uh, telephones and communication and then cha chairs and chair mats so on and so forth and the last one is present over here which is the rubber bands so in just one single chart you can clearly see the contribution as well as when you add the interactivity you will be able to filter your entire dashboard with the help of this chart. So this helps you the optimization of the dashboard itself to use the space more uh, creatively. So let's go into the edit mode and see how we can create this chart. So what I'll do is I will just delete this and uh, come over here in add chart and down there at the end we have the tree map chart. So over here I will just drop it and it will show us the default values, all the default settings and everything. So what I'll do is expand this little bit. And uh, with the help of the tree map, as you can see, it does the settings itself. When I had not dragged it down, you have the settings like this. So this also becomes sort of a menu as well as a KPI, which clearly indicate how your different segments are performing. And once I drag it down, you will see that these values is now changed and showing you a proper tree map chart. Now instead of uh, customer segment like earlier I was showing you the product subcategory you can bring the product subcategory over here and uh, then have a similar view. So earlier we did not have the all and uh, this this uh, scale which we can change it within the style itself but uh, over here you have a lot of different other options as well like the drill down and uh, up to what level you want to show so let's say from product subcategory you want to go to the product name and then from product name let's say you want to go to customer all of those settings you can do it with the help of adding the dimension then you can show the sales metric up to you whether you want to sell or your sales metric or profit metric you can just click it over here search the metric and change it accordingly also in the runtime if you want to have uh, the sales pro the sales or the profit metric to be replaced with something else then you can specify the optional metric so that's mainly the high level the basic settings that you need to do for the creation of the tree map chart 